So I wanted to give it a go and produce and make a, a 15 to maybe 30 second commercial. I also have a lot of cats. So we decided to combine work with animals and also this idea of making a really short commercial, something that you might see on Instagram or on TV or, and you know, adverts on social. So that was the plan. I'm, I'm gonna combine cats and, and a commercial. <laughs> Celebrating 30 years of making your cat purr. So the idea for the product commercial was quite simple, really easy, really. I just looked around the house and saw what I had in, in, in the cupboards. Found this really cool uh, packet of cat treats that we had a couple of, so I knew if, if I messed up on a couple shots, at least I had one or two packets of them. It was just simply, I have this in my cupboard and, and that's gonna work. So I had the idea, I had the, the product, and I had the actors, my, my cats. So the next step after researching is storyboarding. And there's a big hint in the word storyboarding. You need to focus on the story. I find that if, if the story's boring or if it's very hollow, no matter how fancy the shots are, it's just, it's not interesting. Um, so I always sit back with, with a blank bit of paper, close my eyes and just try and imagine the story from start to finish. No matter how small it is, if it's a 15 second story, if it's an hour long story, as long as the story's there, as long as you have a really interesting story, then that, that's the important part. This, uh, this couch, this is really deep. <laughs> I could, uh, maybe I could just do it like this. <laughs> I, I, I decided to just shoot this handheld. Uh, I wanted to see how the, um, I think it's Sony's Catalyst software works, where it, it saves the metadata into the actual file, um, and then you add in the stabilization later. I wanted to see how it was going to work, so I decided I film it handheld and it would be great. Little did I know, it wasn't as great as I thought it was going to be. It was way too, some of the shots were way too uh, unstable and had too much jitter in them. I decided the next day I would go back uh, and refilm all the shots that I had done that I were that were too unstable, that had too much jitteriness in them. Jitteriness? Jitteriness is a word now, we're going with that. But I basically just chucked the camera on a tripod again, reshot all the shots that were way too jittery, way too much shake in them, and added a bit of digital post in Zoom. And it, it just really gives that, it really sells the idea that this is a commercial, a professional commercial. If, if you've got too much shake in the shots, it's, it just doesn't sell it that well. So this was something that I definitely felt um, that next time, just keep it clean, keep it on a tripod as much as possible. Uh, and just, there is a little bit of handheld and I think it's nice on, on the bits where the, it's a close up on the cat. I, I do like the fact that that's handheld, it gives it a bit more movement, it, 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 it works. Another thing I noticed on the edit was after I'd reshot the, the beginning shot with the cat sleeping, it was stationary. And I was, I was watching it back a couple times and it, he literally looks like he's a picture because it looks like I've taken a picture and just slowly zooming in. He's so stationary. So I sat there for about an hour, an hour and a half, just with the with the record on and just, just filming consistently, just gently being like, come on, just waiting for him to move and he wouldn't move. So I, I, I tried to tickle him, tried to get him to do anything without opening his eyes and just to, just to move. Eventually, after a while, I got a nice, little bit of movement of him moving his, his, I think he moved his paw a little bit. So I went with that in the end. Uh, but I just needed a bit of movement in the shot. I felt like it was lacking that. It just felt like a picture otherwise. Right, so we're finished with the beginning shoot with the cat. Um, we're moving now into the, the scene where he walked through the hallway. Uh, and I wanted to see him walking from, shot, from, from room to room down the hallway. Uh, and originally I was gonna have that shot but no matter how many times we did it and how many times we'd pick him up and reset him and put him back, he refused to just walk in a straight line and just be chill and be happy. And when he did do it, my, the, the autofocus on my camera could not track him properly. Um, I tried a couple manual times, but it, it just wasn't working. Like he, he would stop halfway, he'd be looked to the side and be distracted, or he'd run. Getting it in manual focus was, was, way, was way too hard. The autofocus wasn't doing it. I tried manual, it didn't work. So I soon realized I didn't actually need to show the cats walking from location to location. I was happy just 
um, with the audience imagining that part of the of the of the commercial. I didn't feel like it was necessary to show it. So I think we got away with 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 the idea that the cat has walked from place to place without having to show it. So I mean, if it was it, it was a fix to the, to a problem where I couldn't get the shot that I wanted. Um, in the end, we just didn't have the shot, and we we transitioned quicker and had a bit more of it of an end shot because to keep it down to 15 seconds. Because with a 15 second um, commercial, you every shot has to count, and and I feel like in the end, I didn't need that shot of the cat walking down the hallway. Basically, it just it it didn't need to be there. The audience was more than happy to imagine that the cat did that without without having to actually see it. You can probably hear the fridge. That's kind of annoying, but. Music is a big part of any commercial. You know, you've got 15 seconds to sell this and the music will really help with um, driving home whatever themes or, or whatever the story is you're going for. So I wanted to look for something quite cheeky, um, sort of like very sly because of my, you know, cats. Cats can be quite sly if they're trying to get the food, they're trying to, uh, and I found this really nice, this really nice piece of music that, that I thought worked really well. A um, little bit of editing on it just to, uh, on the, the cuts of the shots to make it uh, more punctual was, was definitely needed. So once I had sorted out my music and I, I found the track that I was really happy with, I decided to mute everything, get rid of all the audio, get rid of all the music and write down every single bit of audio or Foley audio that I'd want to hear for every, every shot of the scene. Basically everything, right? I wanted to Anything you saw, I wanted to hear it and I wanted it to be clean and crisp. So what I did is I went back with my shotgun mic, I recorded the Foley again, uh, got some really nice takes. And just get that really nice audio uh, because that is what is gonna sell this commercial really well. You know, you've got this really nice clean, crisp audio that works from start to finish and you don't even need the music. The music is just there to enhance the story. I kind of knew from the beginning, um, but I wasn't 100% on this until I'd sat down in the edit. Um, but I, I, I realized quite soon in the edit that I wanted a voiceover. I wanted a tagline of some sort, some way to uh, bring all this commercial together uh, and, and give a reason for having this commercial and, and to, to sell the product or sell whatever story I was going for. I did a bit of research and I soon found out that the company was celebrating over 30 years of making cat treats and, uh, and, cat and dog treats. So I thought that was a really cool avenue to take to um, sell the product with this commercial and, and round it all off. So I found some websites to post on. Lots of people auditioned for it, which is amazing. Clearly people are out there wanting to, to, to collaborate and work on projects, guys. So if, if you've got something where you want a, uh, a voiceover or you want to collaborate with anyone, there's gonna be people there that want to do it with you. And even though it's a free project, I didn't pay them anything for this. So I was upfront, look, it's just for fun, it's just for practice. They were they were more than happy to jump in and can collaborate. So this, this was the big, 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 thumbs up from me, I was super excited and I, I ended up getting a couple really nice responses from a couple people uh, and it was, it was tough, it's always tough to, to pick who you want to go with in the end. Um, but I think for this project and for the story I was trying to sell, uh, the voiceover I eventually went with, I was super happy with. It was a close call between him and another person, but I was super happy with this voiceover and I'm really appreciative that all these people take their time out and are willing to collaborate. So yeah, I mean, getting a voiceover is, is a great experience. So all I had left to do was a final grade and fix the exposure of a couple shots. This was shot in a Cinetone, which is a beautiful picture profile, a standard picture profile as well. It doesn't need much tweaking straight out of the camera. It looks beautiful. So just a couple things, uh, a couple exposure fixes, a couple of tweaks I had to do with the, the couple shots, but you know, overall I was super happy with how this all looked and, and the entire the entire thing was great. Look, I'm uh, I'm growing my beard. I don't think it's that bad. I want to grow it a bit more and then trim it. I don't think it's too bad. It's getting there, you know, it's getting there. I had a lot of fun shooting this commercial. Um, it, it was a first go at shooting something quite short and packing a whole video into something quite short. Um, I'm, I'm kind of figuring out with these videos uh, sort of the style I want to go with on the direction of this channel. 
I like shooting loads of, sort of product videos and advertisements and whatnot. I like just going out and shooting stuff. I'm not 100% on how I want to do like my behind the scenes. I might have to get a second camera, maybe like a GoPro or something to just continuously film with while and film with the main camera because I can't use this camera and also film behind the scenes at the same time. So I'm going to have to figure that out. But with this video, like I'm pretty, I'm pretty hyped with the um, the product video. I think it was pretty fun. It was it was a lot to, a lot of things I learned from it. Uh, it. It was also just good good fun and good experience to go out and do it. So I think overall it's been a good experience. Uh, and I think the biggest biggest thing to do is just to go out there and shoot it, not worry too much about making mistakes. Learn from the mistakes that you make, and that's that's the way you improve. Um, so yeah, I mean that's that's all it really is. The last couple days, I haven't I haven't said anything about this, but I've actually I'll show you. Look, ready? I've actually just bought a um, a backdrop setup. So this has come down. I got a bunch of colors. I got black, pink, white, blue. It basically comes down and sits on this top of this table. Come, it will come forward a bit, and I'm gonna have a product shooting uh, little studio. It's gonna be awesome. I'm super excited. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna start with. I like the idea of doing sort of like a, a chocolate bar advert or something like that. Don't know yet. But yeah, like super, super excited to shoot some stuff with this uh, and just get more into the product shooting scene and testing some things out. I might get another camera to film like a behind the scenes of this while I'm filming just so you can see literally as it's happening, what I'm doing, what's going on. I've got some cameras footage behind the scenes style, but I think maybe you guys would enjoy. Who knows, right? Who knows? Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned, I'm going to be posting some more videos to come. I, I've got a job now, so I can't be posting or working on these the whole time. But in my off time, I'm going to be posting and working towards making a bunch of content. So yeah, I appreciate you guys sticking around. Leave a comment, say hi. Uh, yeah, all right, see you guys. Oh, you're a good boy. But you need to be, you need to be sleeping downstairs. Are you ready to be a star? <laughs> he was born to be a star.